Hi, I'm Lorraine Hart from Hart's Nursery. Um, we're a Cheshire based company and we've been doing the shows for a good many years now. Um, I thought I'd talk to you today about planting all your bulbs in pots. Uh, as we haven't been working away so much this year, we've uh, decided that we've got time to plant up a lot of containers and all bulbs will grow really well in containers, especially lilies. I want to show you some of the ones we've got planted in pots. We've got um, Gloriosa, which is a really beautiful flame lily. This only likes to be outside in the summer. Um, it needs to be in a sheltered position, plenty of sunshine. You can start them off indoors so that they, they get some growth on them before the actual warmer weather comes outside. There's calla lilies, Antidesia, they are fabulous in pots. They flower, they seem to carry on flowering all through the summer. They're really fabulous. Um, we have begonias here that are really fabulous. These are all summer flowering bulbs. You plant them up in the spring and they flower all the way through summer. These particular begonias will just keep going non-stop all the way through the summer. These are some of our lilies that we've got planted in the garden. They're all in containers. We do have a lot, that there's a lot of tree lilies that grow really tall in the corner there. Um, they get up to about 20 heads on them. Those are absolutely fantastic, grow bigger every year. Uh, here we've got heartstrings. That's a really pretty, lots of color, but unscented. Lots of people don't like scented lilies. Um, they say that it gives them hay fever or coughs and, and so we always get them to buy these sort of lilies, Asiatic lilies that don't have the perfume but have beautiful colours. Um, this, these lilies are called rose lilies and they are absolutely gorgeous. They are very, very fragrant. They have multiple petals but no stamen so you don't get any on your clothes so they don't stain anything and they flower all through the summer. We, these come in absolutely every colour of pink that you can think of. We're hoping to be getting some yellows coming through. So um, those are really, really special. Um, we have a beautiful one um, over here that's called Zebra. Um, it's particularly beautiful colour. It's a, an oriental crossed with a, a species lily, a Nepalense lily. And so you get this trumpet effect and it hangs down. It's absolutely beautiful, really, really fragrant. That's one of my favorites at the moment. But then they'll all grow in the ground or they'll all grow in pots. You can see I've, I've underplanted with some bedding underneath. So they look really fabulous like that. These are still all rose lilies. They're going to be coming out shortly. They shouldn't be too long. So what do you have to remember? <coughs> when your um, lilies have finished flowering you need to cut them off just underneath the last bloom just about here and you leave the stems to die back so that that feeds the bulb for the following year and if you do cut lilies at all if you want them to come inside the house always try to leave about two foot of stem on them because that means that they can die back and feed the bulb for the following year this is um, Allium Red Mohican. It's a very pretty Allium. It has a little tufty bit on the top, as you can see, and it's a late flower. Um, we also have a little one along here called Millennium, which is really pretty, very pretty purple. And that flowers all through the summer. Now, with the Alliums, we're getting ready to start selling those along with all the other spring bulbs that you now need to be thinking of. Alliums, tulips, daffodils, crocus, snowdrops, all of those need to be planted up in the autumn for, for spring flowering. So um, have a think, have a think about what you want and then have a look at our website on Hearts Nursery and order now so that you're not disappointed uh, because there's lots of varieties but some of our, our varieties are really special so that we only have certain amounts of them so try and order as early as you can and they're sent out in September. Thank you.